Donald Trump has officially won Pennsylvania, which means that somehow he has once again officially won the presidency. Today, this country has proven to us that they hate women, people of color, LGBTQ plus members, everyone else more than they hate a literal felon who has committed schmechual schmechmalt. He doesn't deserve to be president again, but America gave that to him. How can that compete when you have Elon Musk paying a million dollars per day to encourage people to vote for Donald Trump? Personally, I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted enough to delete my ex account. Hey, yo, to any black person that voted for Trump in this election, I just want you to know if you experience any type of police brutality, racism, any of that, from now on, we don't care. Don't come to us. We ain't helping. You wanted this. This is what you wanted. You want your own. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So Donald Trump has actually won the U.S. election. And uh, some of the people are pissed and others are celebrating. But what are Americans actually saying? So, guys, I have a, a couple of videos compiled for you guys that, you know, many Americans are reacting to Donald Trump winning the U.S. election with a strong dominant win. So if you're new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing and uh, yeah, let's check out the video and then I'm going to come back and give you my commentary. I can honestly and wholeheartedly say that I have never in my life wanted to make a video less than this one right now. Donald Trump has officially won Pennsylvania, which means that somehow he has once again officially won the presidency. And I think the worst part is, is that I can't honestly say that I'm surprised in any way. I exist on the internet every single day. I see the way that these grown men and occasionally women act when they are behind the comfort of a keyboard. I see the hate that this world harbors towards women, towards LGBTQ+, towards people of color, towards everyone who is not this mold. Today this country has proven to us that they hate women, people of color, LGBTQ plus members, everyone else more than they hate a literal felon who has committed schmechual schmechmalt. That is how much hatred they harbor for women and I fear that things are not going to get better. This is not moving in the direction of things becoming better. They have won the presidency, they have won the Senate, and they will probably be winning the House. The GOP will have full control to pass and do whatever they want without being stopped. And we have seen what that means. We have seen their playbooks and their projects and their plans. I genuinely do believe that we are about to witness the downfall of an entire country. We have been actively witnessing it for some time. Yes, a lot of us acknowledge that, but I truly do think we're about to speed run it, essentially. And I'm in Minnesota. I'll probably be fine for a while. I can drive up to my friends in Canada. I can figure something out, but there are so many people here who cannot, who don't have plans or the option of a plan. And they won't be okay. And I'm so worried for so many people. And I don't know what to do. I know you're going to ask me what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I tried so hard. And I feel like I failed. I feel like we all failed. And I did everything I could. And I don't... I, I don't know what I could have done better. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to go now. It's going to be, we're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this. Don't let my, my breakdown panic you. We, we always figure this out and we're going to. We, we just have to stick together and stand strong. Oh my gosh, that's the first time I think you guys have ever actually seen me cry. And I feel this might be the first time I'm not going to cut it and try and refilm because this is really what's happening now. 
All right, I'm about to go to bed, call it, it's late, so this may be a little rambling. Donald Trump, next president of the United States, barring a huge miracle, he just didn't win, he won for fun. He won the electoral, he won the popular vote, he got more votes than last time uh, he was president. Just a total ringing endorsement uh, for the Republicans and Donald Trump, and an indictment against the Democrats, and that's really this rant. A lot of people are asking, like, how did Trump get more votes than he got last time? Well, here's the answer, because people like myself, independent independents or moderates, the Democrats gave us no choice. The Democrats gave us no choice. That was the worst campaign and their pure arrogance and their moral superiority have driven people away. If you say you're voting for Trump, suddenly you're a Nazi, you're Hitler, you're garbage. Enough. Enough. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's racists in the party, just like there's fucking crazy people and assholes and racists in, in the Democratic Party, all right? But millions and millions and millions and millions of people vote for Trump. He won clear, he won decisive. So when you call us that, and when you say that, you're calling the majority of the country racist, Hitlers, Nazis. I don't think you get the words of what that means. You are alienating all this middle ground people by acting like you're better than us, smarter than us, and frankly, insulting our intelligence. Trump's the threat to democracy? That was the entire Democratic campaign. It wasn't about policy because everyone knew we wanted change. We're not happy with the borders, the Middle East, the economy, inflation. And Kamala, Kamala consistently said she was no different than Joe Biden, wouldn't do anything different than Joe Biden, last person in the room. Her pitch to the people was Trump is Hitler, Trump is bad, he's a dictator. Again, we're not stupid. The Democrats were the one who were saying Joe Biden was uh, mentally fit for two years when he was a vegetable and couldn't even make it off stage from giving a speech. And the Democrats would lie to our face and say the videos were edited, altered. They weren't. Then after the primary is over, they stage a coup, get rid of Joe, put in Kamala, and suddenly she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Same woman who ran for president got zero votes. Same woman who can't even a answer a question how she's different from Biden ran one of the worst campaigns I've ever seen. Just strictly, her entire campaign was, uh, was fear-mongering. What would Trump as a dictator be the end of democracy? It's garbage. It's garbage. The people pulling the strings in the Democratic Party, get rid of them, they've lost the plot. Tonight is on the Democrats. Congratulations, Donald Trump, I voted for him. And I felt I had no choice but to vote for him for the campaign that the Democrats ran. And it's not, not just white males, Hispanics, the black vote didn't come out for Kamala, Kamala like they did. Again, it was a ringing endorsement for the Republicans, Trump, ringing indictment against the Democrats. They got to look themselves in the mirror. This moral superiority complex they have, this arrogance they have, it's not working. It's time to wake up and see that. You're alienating half the country, more of it. Wake up, move on. This is for entertainment purposes only, so family. Trump has taken it. And the entire world has breathed a sigh of relief because the globalists have taken a major blow. This is a major blow to Obama and the globalists and the Bill Gates of this world and the New World Order agenda. Now, I've talked widely about how Trump also has his own secret society and the U.S. election was actually a clashing of two secret societies. And the fact that the first person to congratulate him is Netanyahu of uh, Israel is, um, but for us here in Africa, that means there'll at least be a pause, if not a total turnaround of the bullying foreign policy, the arm twisting foreign policy, the experimentation on our children. We better hope those two Big Macs, two filet -O fish and that small chocolate milkshake that Trump likes to eat does his job on the 78 year old man. The average lifespan of a white male American is 76.5 years. Trump is 1.5 years past his expiration date. And honestly, that explains the orange color. He's literally spoiled milk. God, I know it's been a while, but if you can hear me, if you needed an old white person, why Queen Elizabeth II, Lord? Why not Trump? Satan, do you need directions? Meet me at a crossroad. If you need help finding him, I got you. 
Grim Reaper, you ain't paid him not one visit? What is he doing hiding in a pile of oranges when you come? I am not holding back today if I hear anybody fucking celebrating Trump's victory in this fuck ass presidential election. There is not shit to celebrate about more women fucking dying, the Department of Education getting defunded and IEPs getting taken away, not shit funny about families getting separated, not shit funny about more queer kids dying and suffering because they can't get the gender affirming care that they need or queer people in general. There's not shit to fucking celebrate. And if you're like, oh, well, he's gonna, he's gonna lower my taxes and uh, it'll be cheaper to buy fucking groceries. Eh! Wrong, bitch. Fucking wrong. His fucking tariff plan will jump groceries up 20%. I thought y'all couldn't afford groceries as it is. So what are you gonna do then? His tax plan has been proven by economists, people that study the economy, people that have won Nobel Peace Prizes for this shit, have proven that his tax plan will only tank the economy just like it did fucking last time. And y'all are fucking jumping around like stupid ass seals. For what? For fucking what? If you voted independent, if you didn't vote, and if you voted Trump, fuck you from the bottom of my heart. And I... I hope you're happy with this stupid fucking outcome. Well, Donald Trump is now our 47th president of the United States of America. This election was not even close, which I find odd considering Kamala Harris's rallies. However, how can that compete when you have Elon Musk paying a million dollars per day to encourage people to vote for Donald Trump? Personally, I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted enough to delete my ex account. I'm disgusted enough to never order a Tesla as long as I shall live. I wanna take this moment to congratulate those of you who voted for Donald Trump, which was the overwhelming majority of Americans. You chose to vote for a dictatorship and that is what you will get. America is no longer the land of the free. You have chosen by siding with Donald Trump to throw our United States Constitution and our United States flag in the garbage. Personally, I am embarrassed. I am ashamed to call myself an American. In fact, I no longer call myself an American because the values that I hold dear are being aligned with freedom, liberty, and justice. Unfortunately, those are no longer the values of the United States, as the United States has voted for a dictatorship and everything that comes with it. This country is no longer recognizable to me. I find myself surrounded by people that no longer share the same values as I do. You chose to elect a man that is a self-proclaimed dictator. Over 80% of his former staff came forward to warn us he's a fascist. Where half of the country decided to vote for a convicted felon, a man found guilty of rape, a hostile, hateful, old, senile, bitter, treasonous, bigot. During his entire campaign, he never once laid out a policy, not one policy, in detail all he spoke about were bumper sticker level surface level ideas concepts with no real plan no details whatsoever as americans we deserve better than that that's why i made over 125 videos sounding the alarm bell saying this man does not have a plan this man is not taking the role of being president serious Leading economists, leading financial firms are warning us that by electing Donald Trump, our country is on course for a recession. I outlined his lies in detail, one by one. And in comparison, I outlined Kamala Harris's details with supporting evidence. But you were too brainwashed, too blinded by your own racism, misogyny, bigotry, tunnel vision. You refused to acknowledge the facts. So now 
when the cost of goods from food to clothes to cars increase in price by 20%, that's on you. When your mother loses her Medicare benefits, that's on you. When your disabled brother loses 30% of his social security disability income, that's on you. When your pregnant daughter suffers a miscarriage and is being investigated for murder, that's on you. When your wife gets graped and is forced to give birth to your grapist baby, that's on you. And when they make her grapist have parental rights to co-parent with you, that's on you. When the cost of imported lumber increases by 20% and new construction becomes even more scarce, that's on you. When Donald Trump conducts his mass deportation operation, which is projected to cost Americans $379 billion, which is projected to cut our GDP by four to six percent, leading to a great recession, that's on you. When Trump fills his cabinet with MAGA loyalists that defund the Department for Education, the Department of Labor, the Department of Homeland Security, the EPA, that's on you. When you are no longer offered overtime pay, that's on you. When Social Security is projected to go bankrupt in six years under Donald Trump's plan, that's on you. When leading economists project his plan will add $5.8 trillion to the national debt, that's on you. When large publicly traded companies buy up single family homes in residential neighborhoods, creating lifelong renters, and further increasing the price of homes, making it even harder to become a homeowner, that's on you. When corporations turn into monopolies by less restrictions through mergers and price gouging, that's on you. When Trump deregulates the EPA and pollutes our air and causes sea levels to rise, that's on you. In four years when we have another election, and you want to vote him out, but he refuses to leave, that's on you. Americans made it blatantly clear that they would rather incur all of this rather than have a mixed woman as their president. Shame on you. You will get what you deserve. Donald Trump's last presidency, he had the luxury of riding Obama's strong economy. However, that's not the case this time. Although our economy has been built back stronger, our economy is still very fragile. And so this time around, you will get to experience a true Donald Trump presidency. And let me tell you something, it is not gonna be pretty. Part of me is actually looking forward to watching those of you who support him relentlessly suffer under his policies and become much poorer as those of us that have accumulated wealth become much richer. However, this isn't about money for me. This is about doing what's right. It's right versus wrong. It's freedom versus dictatorship. And unfortunately, more than half of Americans chose the latter. Ironically, it is the MAGA supporters that are going to feel the effects of a Trump presidency the most. If you make in the lower 50% of all Americans, you can expect a tax increase under Donald Trump's policy. So to sum up, you voted for a dictatorship for you, your family, and your children. And this will take decades to undo. Being the land of the free, our freedom, is not something to take for granted. It's something that we have fought for, our grandparents have fought for, and it's something that you literally just gave up by voting this man in. He told you what he's gonna do, and you have to believe him. And unfortunately, there's no way out now. And yet, his most loyal supporters are bragging that Trump won. 
when in fact this is the biggest mistake of your life. This is something that your children and your children's children and your children, children's children's children will never forgive you for. Good luck to all of you. All right, folks, there you have it, actually. So as you can see, so many people in actually in the US, some of them are happy, those who voted for the red party, but those who voted for the blue party, actually most of them are ranting online, crying, and uh, some are pissed, as you have seen. So the liberals and the independent actually are saying that, you know, the blue party you didn't give us a choice because all the campaign that the blue party managed to pull off actually was not enough they wa wasn't actually enough enough uh, points to convince them to vote for the blue party because you know all Kamara was doing is you know calling trump a dictator calling voting trump you know it's like voting hitler they didn't have you know a solid plan and as you say you know the saying actually it says that better the devil you know so many felt that at least they know trump already they know what trump brings on the table and uh, the slogan for his campaign is always the same you know make america great again that is the slogan there and most people voted for trump he actually won and he didn't just won actually he destroyed every poll out there he won with a strong election a strong dominant you know win that wasn't expected to be happening so as you have seen many women who are on the side of the blue party are actually saying that if you voted for red now you hate women i don't understand their point there if you voted for red you hate lgbtq if you voted for red you hate you know people of color all that is actually uh not entirely true because people have the right to vote for for whomever actually they feel like you know it's not always you know giving uh undecided or you know unvetted attention or loyalty to just a party just because you have to vet what someone brings to the table and many felt that you know the blue party candidate who is kamala harris didn't bring enough to the table in order to actually you know convince them to vote for him so as you have seen guys many people are celebrating others are crying out as you have seen in the videos that I've compiled for you. Let me know in the comment section, what is your take on this? What do you think? Do you think Trump winning this election was good for the United States of America? Or do you think this is a mess and the government and you know the US economy is gonna be in jeopardy actually for the next four years? Let me know. If you are new, kindly consider subscribing, like the video, it helps with the algorithm. And as always, guys, see you on the next episode.